This is a podcast of 98FM's Dublin Talks. Remember, catch the show live Monday to Friday at 10 a.m. 98FM's Dublin Talks with Adrian Kennedy. 98FM. Every day of the week on um, social media platforms like Facebook, there appears to be a different post of somebody being accused of something with not a shred of evidence. In fact, at the moment, there's a post doing the rounds on Facebook accusing a man of all sorts and asking people to share a photo of him on Facebook. It's gotten hundreds of shares. Hundreds of people were happy to share a photo of a man being accused of doing something inappropriate with a child with not an ounce of evidence. Yesterday, Gardaí released a statement warning people about sharing pe- photos of people on social media being accused of crimes against children. Gardaí urged people not to share fake warnings of kidnappers on social media or in WhatsApp groups after the photo of a foreign man wrongly accused of being in a child abduction gang was shared more than 2,000 times on Facebook. And it was absolute bull. Not so long ago on the show, we spoke to a woman whose life was turned upside down after her husband was wrongly accused of something on social media. It practically ruined his life. And today, fresh calls have been made uh, to make it uh, illegal for people to share these posts on social media because in the majority of cases, they are false. And our question is, would you like to see people charged and brought to court um, as if they share a photo of someone online being accused of attempted child abduction or any type of offence against the child with no evidence other than someone saying it on Facebook. Our telephone number is 67979981. You can text or WhatsApp the programme 0877989898. 98, 98, 98. I want to bring you back to a program that we uh, did a couple of years ago. And the the woman's name is irrelevant because uh, the story is long since passed. But the reason I'm playing this is to highlight the dangers of sharing stuff on social media without any shred of evidence. This lady was on our show nearly two years ago and told the story of what happened to her husband. As I said, her name is irrelevant. His name is irrelevant. Uh, The specific details are irrelevant, except the damage that this does. Last year, a photograph of your husband was used online. For what? Um, Basically saying that he was trying to lure kids into his car and he was in the cab area and if anybody spotted him, to contact the guards immediately. It was a Sunday afternoon and we were sitting in the house as you do and the husband was gone up to lie down and it was actually my daughter who um, ran down the stairs. She was in a room at the time in a panic and I said, what's wrong? She said, ma'am, she said, look what somebody has up about my dad on Facebook. My friend is after ringing me. And I said, what, what? And I looked, well, oh my God. It basically had his profile picture and a big alert notice at the top of it and it said, has anybody seen this guy? He's been seen in the Capper area and that's where we live trying to lure kids into his car. This man is very dangerous and it's spotted contact the guards immediately and it gave a confidential number as well. Like it was really, it was stomach turning. Then that post, um, have you seen this man in your area with a photograph of of your uh, husband? I yes. assume then it was widely shared then after that, was it? It was. It was after being shared a lot of times before we actually found out about it. It was horrible. We went to the guards, we went straight up to Cabo Guard Station and basically we were told that the guards could do nothing about it. You know, we couldn't get to the end of it. We contacted Facebook and all. And to cut a long story short, we basically had to repost it, repost my husband's picture and tell the story ourselves that this man was nothing like this and this is my husband. And now it went on for about two or three weeks, you know, trying to get everybody and their friends and family and all reposted it for us. But he was being stopped on the street. He was actually afraid to go outside the hog off. Wow. Now, don't get me wrong, I would have been, you know, before I actually seen this about my husband, I would have, I would have been somebody to share something like that. Yes, and, 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 and in fact, it. that's exactly uh, what I want to uh, focus in on, because yeah. people are so quick to, so quick to uh, immediately share yeah. when they see a post and they believe everything that was written. Yeah. Uh, they are so quick to uh, share posts, and you're admitting you would have been that soldier. I would have been the first person to do it. 
Okay, now, as I said, uh, that uh, interview was from October last year. And as I said, the specifics of that case are kind of irrelevant um, other than to hear that story and to hear what happened uh, to that man, to that family, all over nothing. He did nothing. Somebody decided to share his photograph uh, on social media and accuse him of all sorts. All untrue. And we're asking, should people be prosecuted for uh, firstly posting crap like that, but secondly for sharing it? Because without a share on social media, it goes nowhere. Nobody gets to see it. Uh, If you share a post on social media, uh, then it it will uh, spread like wildfire. I'd love to hear from you on 67979891. You can text or WhatsApp the program 0877989898. 0877989898. Should people who post stuff like this without a shred of evidence or um, share stuff like this without a shred of evidence be prosecuted? That's the question that we're asking you. Uh, Jerry, you're on 98FM. How are you, Jerry? Hey, Jeremy, how are things? Well, I'm Adrian, but uh, go on Hi, anyway. Uh, Jerry, so, Jerry, you uh, have a friend who was a victim of a post like this. Yeah, that's right. Now, this is going back like uh, into last year. Um, the, my friend happened to be down in a certain part of the country, and he looked like a guy that was after being up on the news already who was a convicted uh, a paedophile. And just because he happened to look like this chap, straight away the people around in that local area, one woman put up a post and told everyone to share that he was in the area and that something had to be done about it. She put the post up and it went like wildfire around that local community. Mm. He was accosted out on the main street and he was trying to protest his innocence and nobody had listened to him. They were trying to lynch him. Now, I mean, it could have turned out very, very dangerous. He had to actually run into a place for somebody to help him because he didn't have a mobile phone on him. And he went into a local, um, I think it was a restaurant or something down there, and he made a phone call to the police. The police came out. They told the people that was around that he wasn't that person. And they still would not listen to the police. They still wanted to lynch him. And they actually threw digs and all at, the, at my friends, you know. Now, he was actually terrified for his life over that. Now, that was also, it wasn't only the thing about the woman uh, shared in that. That was also put onto a public page that's down there. It's like one of them, you know, them magazine pages, you know, the local, let, let's say it'd be, let's say, uh, Clondalk and Neighbourhood Watch or whatever. But these, this page put that up as well. And it had everybody in a frenzy. And that chap was completely innocent. Now he's after being on he was after being on shows and all. Like you know, he actually went to try and show people that it is wrong to be putting up stuff unless you know a hundred percent that that's that person. And uh, here's the, the 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 disturbing part of this. Um, everybody has what they call a doppelganger, somebody who's uh, a clone of you, somebody who's the exactly, image of yeah. you. And there was yeah. a case yesterday, just yesterday, uh, that was in the papers. And I'm not going to name the case, but it was of a guy uh, convicted of a uh, sexual offence. And his photograph appeared in the, in the uh, newspaper or online. But I saw his photograph anyway yesterday. And this guy is a clone of one of our near neighbours. And... Yeah. This is the thing that I'm trying to get at. That somebody could see that photograph and go, oh, that's your man from down the road. Better share this photograph where it's not him at all. Um, and that is the scary part about this, that you may think that you're right. You may be convinced in your head that the person you're thinking you're accusing may have done anything. But we have courts for a reason. Exactly. F- this is it. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, what sort of effect does that um, have on him? Well, I tell you, it had a very, very bad effect on him because he was actually, he actually went down there because he wanted to move out of the place he was in. He was looking for a new start in life. I wanted to start to get a nice area and all, you know. And when he went down there and seen the viciousness of the people, but it's like everything else. It, it's not only that area. You're going to get it everywhere. You'll get people like that in, in all different counties, you know. But the, the, 
the thing about it is like that affected his um you know it, that affected his like nervous system and the whole lot like you know be like you can't believe that people will go on like that mm. you know because when you get know, a group okay, of people let me together, ask you okay there, there are thousands of people listening to us right now who um when they see a post like this they automatically share it onto their facebook page okay and in fact yeah. uh, from that interview from last year you heard that woman say that she was one of those people who used to do that they would just see a post about an alleged sex attacker or child abuser in their area and she would share it without even thinking twice about it. Yeah, well, I would have been the same. Like, I'd I'd agree with that lady. Like, I would have been the same up until a few years ago when I actually, like, copped on and I was saying to myself, like, I mean, that could be somebody with a, a vendetta against somebody, you know? They just have some stupid thing against them and they say, oh, here, look, we'll post this picture up and, you know, we'll start this trouble off, you know? It can be easily done in a matter of seconds. You can ruin someone's life. So what can be done um, to stop people doing that? Do we bring in laws that make it illegal to to share a post about somebody who hasn't appeared in court and hasn't been charged? Yeah, well, I definitely think Facebook has an awful lot got to blame with this. Like, you know, um, I was looking at a thing on the programme on the television there the other night all about Facebook. Hmm. And they seem to have all these little things set up, these meetings and all. Um, it was actually, like, fairly surprising to see the stuff that they will allow people to get away with, you know. And and some of the things they say, well, it's good to put it up because it stops. Now, obviously, that's if you see a person doing the deeds, you know. Like, As opposed to a, hearing about it? Yeah, or, yeah. yeah. And this now, is where, this is where the problem is. if you see a child up on a video, okay. You're going to react to it. It's there on front of you. Mm. But not a person that's a hearsay thing about them. You know? All right, stay there for one second. I'd love to hear from you. Are you somebody who sees a post about somebody who's an alleged abuser or an alleged uh, rapist or whatever and automatically share the post? For example... Um, yesterday, Gardaí released a warning about sharing uh, photos of people on social media being accused of crimes. Um, it followed a uh, f- photographs going around on WhatsApp and so on of a foreign man wrongly accused of being in a child abduction gang. And this was shared thousands of times. So people saw it. Oh, yeah, he's guilty. Let's share that. But it was all bull. The guy didn't do anything. It was the wrong photograph, the wrong fella. And like I said, only yesterday, there was a case that I read online of a guy convicted of a serious crime in North Dublin. When I looked at the photograph of him, he's a clone of a neighbour of mine. And, you know, if if I were one of those type of people, I got put up a photograph. Oh, isn't he the image of so-and-so? Share. It could be him. Stephen, you're on 98FM. How are you, Stephen? Uh, good evening on yourself. Not a bother, thanks, Stephen. What did you want to say on this? Uh, yeah, I definitely think uh, there should be something done about it. Maybe uh, bring in a law. But would it not already fall into defamation of character? In theory, yes. In theory, yes. But I've ne- I've yet to hear. And there have been several examples, by the way. I remember another example uh, a couple of years ago of a guy photographed out in Bray at Bray Dart Station who was um, the spitting image of... I can't remember who he was. Oh, he's the spitting image of Danny Ward. Um, and, and this guy had his photograph taken at Bray Dart Station and that was shared widely on social media and it wasn't Danny Ward. And that's the point, um, that people jump to conclusions and people post stuff online and then the world and his granny shares it. How do we stop this? Do we make it illegal? You'll have to, Adrian, because it can destroy a person in a matter of seconds. Like, what sticks... You know what I mean? Even if it's proven that this fella didn't do it, you're always going to get somebody saying, oh, that's your man that was accused, you know what I mean? Of So it just has to be stopped straight away before it's even put up. So I think strong, strong measures need to be brought in and Facebook needs to get their act together as well. But you see, they they, uh, Facebook won't necessarily know whether or not um, there's any truth to this. So say, for example, um, somebody is a rapist. And that rapist gets released from uh, prison and that rapist is living in your community. Some people will argue that, you know, the community has a right to share a photograph of this guy if he's living in your area. But the difference in that 
is that that person has been convicted of the crime and has been released from jail. It's when somebody is suspected of uh, an offence or suspected of a crime that it just shouldn't be allowed to happen. Well, how do you stop it? You have to bring in strong laws, Adrian, that if you put somebody's name up on Facebook with a picture or anything like that that identifies anybody, you're going to face the full breadth of the law. And you will face time. And there needs to be custodial sentences. Because can you imagine somebody putting up your picture, Adrian? And ruining your career. And, ruining and, and uh, like I said, that's how easy it is. That's, That's how easy it is that somebody... Imagine a click of a button, somebody can ruin your life. Okay, well, stay, stay there for one second, Stephen, if you can, please. 67979981 is our telephone number. Text or WhatsApp us on 0877 98, 98, 98. Should it become illegal, prosecutable by law, for people to post uh, spurious... Uh, posts on Facebook without any shred of evidence. As I said, the Guardi released a statement warning people about sharing photos of people on social media being accused of crimes. Uh, they say uh, that you should not share uh, warnings of kidnappers and so on on social media or in WhatsApp groups after the photo of a foreign man wrongly accused of being in a child abduction gang was shared more than 2,000 times on, on Facebook. The guy did nothing wrong. And yet his photograph was linked with a vile accusation. Uh, Melanie, you're on 98FM. How are you, Melanie? Hi, how's it going? Good, thank you. What did you want to say on this? You know, I actually think that Facebook, it's one of the, the, the things I actually really like about, about Facebook is the fact that, you know, I'm aware of what's going on, especially in my own area. If there is somebody acting suspiciously or behaving in a strange manner, I would feel, OK, it might not be true, but is it not a good thing if people are more cautious? You just said it yourself, uh, Melanie. Okay, it might not be true. But I don't know why people would just put up something without genuinely believing that it is true. I don't believe that happens. I believe that there is genuinely... A Yesterday, lot of Melanie, Most there was a case of a foreign guy who was photographed, put on social media, shared widely, accused of being part yeah, well, of a... I only shared a post last last night and I'm sitting here now on my computer and I'm looking at the post and you know I don't feel bad about sharing it I don't regret sharing it I think that you know I'm letting other people know other concerned parents like myself know that there's a weirdo in the area an alleged weirdo the post the post was and I don't like I mean you take from this what you like but for me I think this is very genuine and um, please share this is serious this man has been hanging around my child's crash on two separate days I approached him yesterday and he spoke with a foreign accent and walked away please spread the word and name and shame this dirty pig thanks and then there's a picture of him outside the crash now for me that's like you know somebody hanging around the crash that's way too serious not to share and now I can and see this guy's face. The picture is as clear as day, and I can be aware in this area. So hang on, this could, man hang on, is going this, around, hanging around outside kids' crash. Hang on for one second, Melanie. This could be a guy that just happened to be walking past a crash. Oh, and two days in a row, and then maybe I that's mean, his route he, home. What I think is really strange about this is it's a woman who actually initially wrote the post and posted it. She said that she approached him. In as I said, she approached him. I mean, it's gotten six hundred shares nearly. There's no way six hundred people sharing that aren't concerned you know those people are concerned that's 600 people who are concerned like myself so obviously they believe it why did he walk away when she approached him why not if you're not doing anything wrong i mean surely you're going to stand and stick up for yourself you're not going to walk off okay but do you know nothing about this case you're taking somebody's word and, and the the person who put the post up originally do you know this person i don't no right. i actually so you are taking on a, on a mutual friend you're taking mind. the word of somebody that you don't even know that this guy is guilty of something that he actually okay, probably but what didn't harm do is it doing by taking the word it's, if it's ruining, only making you more cautious it, sorry is there a photograph of this man yeah and it's clear as day and i personally am delighted now that okay, i've but seen hang it. on this guy has done nothing but, yes you okay. are hang on yet you by sharing this post are branding this guy some sort of a deviant. Okay, first thing you need to calm down. You're getting quite no, but I, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm getting annoyed because... No, I, I mean... I, I'm thinking I'm of this saying, guy... Adrian, is that... Okay, I believe it's true. You might not. Obviously, you're a man. So Sorry, hang on, uh, Melanie. You believe it's true based on what? 
based on the words of somebody that you don't even know. Why would this woman post it if it wasn't true? I don't believe that she would post it just for a few likes and shares. There is obviously a guy hanging around this crash, which is really worrying. If I were a parent in that crash, I'd be approaching the crash myself and saying, look, you're going to have to do something here. These things aren't posted for fun. And even if it isn't true, if this woman has got it wrong, Mm -hmm. what harm can come of you being more cautious as a parent? Okay. Here's what harm can come of being so cautious as you put it. This guy did nothing. You are happy to ruin his name and reputation just to be on the safe side. Why did he run away when she approached him? I can't answer that because I wasn't there. Mm, and more to know, the point, and hang, yeah. on, hang on, Melanie. And more to the point, nor were you. Well, I'm glad as a parent that I've been made aware of this, that I can be cautious about it. And that I'm, okay, do, you know, do, do me a favour and stay on the line there for one second. This is what that post on social media said yesterday. And I want to know, would you have shared this post? It says, please share. This is serious. This man, and there is a picture of this particular guy, has been hanging around my child's crash on two separate days. I approached him yesterday and he spoke with a foreign accent and walked away. Please spread the word and name and shame this dirty pig. Thanks. And as I said, there's a picture of this guy um, allegedly outside a crash. Looking at that photograph, it could be taken anywhere. Um, He could have been pictured anywhere. But this post has already got 560 shares. This post, um, well, it was fairly easy for, for us to find it. And my question to you is, if you saw this post, would you share it? So let me read it again. Please share... This is serious. This man has been hanging around my child's crash on two separate days. I approached him yesterday and he spoke with a foreign accent and walked away. Please spread the word and name and shame this dirty pig. Thanks. And as I said, there's a photograph as clear day as day as the, of this guy, whoever he is. It's been shared hundreds of times. Would you have shared that post if you saw it? That's all I want you to answer. Text yes or no to 0877 98 98 98. Be honest. Would you have shared that post if it came up on your timeline on Facebook? Yes or no to 0877 98 98 98. Because, uh, actually, Melanie, um, the more I read that post, the more angry I am at you and the 560-odd other people who have shared that post with not a shred of evidence of any wrongdoing on the part of that man, yet you have publicly identified this guy as having done something wrong. Adrian, you've seen the post. You, you can obviously, you've seen the post that I've shared. It's the exact same one. So, I mean, why would this woman go to the hassle? Of I have no idea. Maybe guy? maybe it's a vendetta. Maybe it's an I'm ex. Sorry, you don't hang around a crash unless there's something weird going Who on. Who says he was hanging around the crash? That woman said he's But you don't even know that woman. I don't care. I'm sure she has oh, no you take you take the word of somebody that you don't even know. But why shouldn't I take her word? What, and not be cautious? So, you, so do you believe everything you read online? No. But do you know every time you turn on the news, you're being given information by somebody else? How do you know that that's true? <laughs> Stay there for a second. Leona, you're on 98FM. Hi, Leona. Hi, Jeremy. How are you? Um, I suppose my point is, I think it's incredibly ignorant and slightly arrogant even um, of that lady. And I and I don't know her and I, I don't mean to call her names, but to share something like that, that man could be married, he could have children, mm-hmm. he could have a job. He may and you, and, and job. you heard the example of something that happened to that man in Cabra last year. Uh, somebody somewhere had some reason, some vendetta against him that they posted his photograph online. This is the exact same thing. Well, I put it like this. Does Melanie have a partner? Well, yeah, Melanie. I do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and just, just for, for namesake, he was wrongly accused of doing something like that. And loads and hundreds and thousands of people shared his name and, and that without any evidence. Because like you, they assume that somebody else has put this up and they've been slightly ignorant and, and done that. That could ruin your relationship. It could ruin his life. It could ruin... You know, yeah, his but that job, wouldn't his happen child. because he wouldn't be acting strangely. He wouldn't be giving uh, people... What, uh, uh, Melanie, what is, 
What is acting strangely? Well, yeah. hanging around a crash two days in a row, that's acting strangely. That's acting really strangely. Walking off. But how do you know he wasn't it, waiting for a lift? That's exactly what I was about to ask. Oh, yeah. just happens to be waiting. The, the guy who walked off when he was approached just happened to be waiting for a lift at the crash two days in a row. I'm sorry, 600 other people, uh, near, well, nearly 600 other people shared this too. No, say, no, 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 no. 600 other gobshites, Melanie, took the word of the you person who posted it in the first place. You cannot for being concerned about their kids. You can't. Like, you're just, you're just a typical man, you know. No, you're obviously, obviously always going to think that's that incredibly sexist. That is incredibly sad. I have to man. say, Melanie, I am in no way a man, and I think that's incredibly sexist. I think the post you was You have never seen this in your area. I'm sure if a post was shared, in, if it was your area, I'm sure you'd you'd listen. I'm sure it would perk up, it would perk your ears up. Let me ask notice. you, Melanie, did you share uh, the post about the um, uh, what was this one about? Oh, about the foreign man uh, wrongly accused of. Uh, of being a, in a child abduction gang. Did you share that post? Or no. did you see that post? Okay, you didn't. No. Right. Because let me read out this message. It is so dangerous what these people are doing. Uh, and he refers to the uh, photograph of the guy allegedly part of an Albanian gang, um, which was absolute rubbish. Now, uh, Melanie, the point that I'm trying to make is if this man was guilty of a crime, is that not what we have our courts for? I know, but is there it is not illegal. Wrong with making pa- pa- Melanie, parents it is aware. Not, hang on, it is not illegal to, for a man to be spotted outside a crash. Okay, Adrian. Okay, you I'll give you. Uh, Would Melanie, you not I'll rather you know example. if there was a, per- a pervert or paedophile or weirdo hanging around your area? Even if, I, if it's wrong, would you not rather be on your guard? No, 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 no. Again, I want to ho- pull you up on that. Even if it's wrong, we have I think no the best thing about Facebook right. Is this is is the chance that people have to share stuff like this? And I think if okay, there you go, Leona. Facebook that is the best Facebook. part wow. of Facebook, in my opinion, Melanie. It's the worst wow. part of Facebook. Oh my but, God! Well, yeah. then you're just a typical man, not thinking as a parent and thinking as okay, a okay. I'll give you an example. I think, but I'm a parent and I'm not a man, and I think it's incredibly ignorant. Okay, I, I'll Melanie. give you an example, Melanie. I think Facebook is fantastic. For uh, example, if the Guardi issue a Cry alert, and that is. I was just going to ask. Yeah, okay. You so, sorry. That is an officially sanctioned post from Angarda Shiakana that a child has gone missing. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, so no, no, no. Listen, be true just listen to me. From a regular Dubliner, just, but just it listen, only be true from the guard. Just listen to me for a second. If the Gardaí issue a cry alert, which is to alert people that a child has gone missing, yes, of course, I would share it, and I would encourage everybody to share it. That is what Facebook oh, is brilliant at. Yeah, um, and I'm sure you would so agree with that. We wait until the problem happens before we share. We went rather than being proactive, we'll wait until the actual issue. And, and make an accusation against somebody yeah, who's yeah, okay, done nothing that wrong. Yeah, that makes a lot of and sense. And it makes a lot of sense to uh, tarnish somebody's name just in case. You know, if this guy's name isn't being tarnished, if he's not done anything wrong, then why would he, then why not, you know, stick up for himself? Because if he's not people, done wrong, hang on, and to be afraid of. Need I read the post again? Um, this is the post that you shared, and it says. Yeah. Uh, please spread the word and yeah. name and shame this dirty pig. Yeah, With and I don't regret it, and I won't be taking it down. In fact, I'll probably get off the phone and or urge people more because I'm so shocked that listening to your show and even being a part and participating in your show today, that people can be so naive and just so careless, you know, to not take it so seriously and to kind of err on the side of caution in terms of, oh, what if he's not? What if he is? This is a the, the point of him being being a weirdo, this guy, is so much more important than if he's not. So you everyone get what I'm saying? guilty until proven innocent. Is that yeah, what you're but, uh, absolutely. Guilty, oh, I guilty wonder until if that was your innocent. child's crash, would you be saying the same? Because I really don't think you would. Or if your child was like hanging around the area or was going to school in the area, I don't think you would be saying the same. It's easy to say. Again, Mel- it's Melanie, you. Melanie. I'll be it- honest with you. If that was me, if I was that lady and I approached that gentleman and I was anyway anxious of it, I might have gotten a bit of information. I might have spoke to the crash. I might have went to the guards. I continue to source it. I would not in a million years would I ever put anything up without having some evidence because that lady has And, uh, and no uh, again, evidence. Leona, much and all as I don't really approve in this sort of witch hunt thing, but if somebody has been released from prison but is a convicted rapist or a child abuser and they're living in your area, I can understand, I don't agree with it, but I can understand how people might share a post like that. And there have been several examples of that over the last uh, year or two. But in this case, we're talking about a completely hypothetical accusation. 
I don't agree with any of it. Like, social media is, a, is an amazing platform for so many things, and it's so destructive. Like, this gentleman would have been waiting for a lift. He may not have realised there was a crash there. I mean, ultimately, there is no proof of anything that he did anything wrong. Absolutely not. And and like and I said, it is not illegal. I have to look at there, yeah. It's not illegal to be spotted near uh, near a crash. Six seven nine seven ninety eight one is our telephone number. You can text or WhatsApp the program. Oh eight seven seven. 989898 Alan, you're on Dublin's 98 FM. How are you, Alan? How are you doing? Good, um, thank you, Alan. Alan, so people, when they see posts like this, now not all people, I wouldn't myself, but people, when they see posts like this, go, uh-oh, like and share. What do you think of yeah, this? People, people like to point the finger. So what's basically happened here is that this guy's picture was posted. People are going, oh, he must be a paedophile. He must be this. Well, absolutely no evidence whatsoever. The woman Melanie there is basically sitting at home. The husband's at work. She's sitting at home. Mind the kid, doing nothing. And saying, I'm going to get on the radio. Cause a lot of trouble. I'm going to send this post so she can have something to talk to. But she's walking in the post office or wherever she's at. It's just, she, she's just, she's just bored. That's what she's doing. Like, if any, I mean, any woman with a brain is going to say, Jesus, we better check this out. We better go down to the crash. We better go to the police. Okay, now, I, I, I gave an example. And um, by the way, the reason I'm not um, uh, giving any more details about who posted that post originally or whatever is I don't want to see that post being shared any further. The um, person that posted it should be, going to the, should, should be reported to the police. You can't do that. You can't just, it's like going up to the pub and saying, you know, you know, Paul down the road there is going around robbing everyone's house because I've seen him walking by a garden two days in a row. You can't, like, you know what I mean? You, you know, they, they do a bit, like, the police are there for the reason of, you know, boiling this down and finding out the facts. Like, you know what I mean? As you said, the bloke could have been walking home from work. He could have been walking to anywhere, like, you know what I mean? And just, and like, you know, it, well, okay, the here's the way, here's the mentality that we, we have, okay? Now, I don't know why this person would possibly want this, but it says... Uh, this message just came in a second ago and it says, can you please send me uh, the link to that post, please, because I want to read it. Um, <laughs> this is the post that I read out that that lady has shared and it says, please share, this is serious. I don't know why anyone would want the link uh, for this because I've read it out three times. In fact, loads of people looking for the link for this uh, post. I've read it out three times. What more do you want? You don't need to see it in order to uh, read it. But anyway, it says, this man has been hanging around my child's crash on two separate days. I approached him yesterday and he spoke with a foreign accent and walked away. Please spread the word and name and shame this dirty pig. And a photograph of a guy that I can see as clear as day. Um, the, foreign, the foreign accent part of it there is, that, that, that is that always the worrying part. But that's the worrying part because if it, was, if it was me or it was you or someone walking by, they'd go, oh, here's this white guy yeah. with clothes you'd see in from, from, from Dublin, Talek, Kondalk on the north side or whatever, He's, he mustn't be a paedophile. But, but what's happening is they're saying, geez, look at this guy here now, he has tan skin and doesn't fit speak yeah. English. You won't mail me brought it up a few times. Oh, you, why but you, but why sorry, you, why what's even off? worse, Alan, is that the fo- there is a photograph of this guy. I can see him as clear as day. He should be. He should be able to find out who who the original poster was. Go to police and get himself whatever. You know what I mean? Defamation of character. He should be able to get a few quid out of that. Like I mean, because whoever posted it in the first place, you can't. You can't just do that. That's but what it, okay, but it, it, one person posting a Facebook post is bad. Okay, um, and uh, you know, all their friends will see it. It only becomes a big issue when people start sharing it. Because that's what spreads it like wildfire when people well, it, start it sharing becomes, it. It only becomes a bigger issue when people start sharing it and saying the intent in the first place. That, like, this, this person didn't didn't know, all right, this guy has previous, this guy has been arrested before, I need to put the word out. He just said, look at this guy, he has dark skin, doesn't speak my lingo, so what I'm going to do yeah. is I'm going to potentially ruin his life. And, and, and then there's 600, 600 other fucking idiots excuse my language, uh, but there's 600 other idiots that are basically saying, all right, some, 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 some girl from Tala is at a post in this post. You better all well, jump in a bandwagon and ruin this lad's life. And, that, and that's exactly what is, what is happening here. Um, I would love to hear from you if you would share that post, or maybe you have shared that post. Um, text or WhatsApp us on 0877 989898. 0877-989898. Uh, um... Could you uh, could have made people aware without a picture of the man in case he is innocent, said uh, that message. Here's the thing. You don't get shares without a picture. If somebody just wrote up a story about somebody hanging around a crash, nobody's even going to bother looking at it. It only gets people's attention when there's a photograph. 
And in this case, this is a photograph of a guy allegedly outside a crash, allegedly hanging around two days in a row, um, allegedly approached by the woman who posted it in the first place. All allegedly. Um, Matthew, you're on 98 FM. How are you, Matthew? How are you, Arden? Matthew, you could be in a bit of trouble because what do you do? I am foreign. I'm driving white van and I park in my van beside the school five days a week. Ooh. So, sometimes even 40 minutes before my son is finished school. So hang on. You are a foreign man who parks outside a crash or a school cool. waiting for yeah. your child sometimes white... sometimes for uh, up to 40 minutes yep have you as a matter of interest um have you ever been approached by anybody the dirty look of the parents who's coming to collect the children from the school is basically normal for me they know i'm waiting for my son to finish the school because then i meet them on the front of the door but all they don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm there every single day to collect him. Mm. And they still look at me as I'm a pervert or pedophile. And all it will take is somebody to take your photograph yeah. and yeah. Uh, post it on social media um, and accuse you of hanging around with outside my, of school. With my registration and the next morning my van could be smashed or born or something like that. Mm. What do you think should be done, or can be done, or could be done to stop people doing this? To stop people sharing unverified, unproven social media posts? Uh, for me, that should be illegal, and uh, that, that the people should be punished for that. I don't know how, but uh, it, it's not normal. I had to think twice before I park uh, my van beside the school. So I, really? I'm not doing anything wrong, and uh, so I would like to see any busybody punished for that to take the photo of me or any other person. Yeah, you see, th this is the scary part of uh, of this story, that somebody who, like the person who posted that photograph of that guy yesterday, somebody could think that you are... Um, up to no good by hanging around outside that school. Yeah, stay there for a second, uh, Matthew. So he hangs around uh, outside the school with good reason. 67979811 is our telephone number. You can text or WhatsApp us on 0877 98 98 98. 0877 98 98 98. Um, Davey, you're on 98FM. How are you, Davey? Hi, now, Davey, what did you want to say? Uh, the whole Facebook thing to me is a joke. First of all, I tried selling a couple of cans of Budweiser on it, because Budweiser is muck, no. So I tried to sell it, and within 20 minutes, they took it down, saying it, it breached their policies. You know, yet you can take a picture of somebody, post it online, and say, this man is after trying to abduct a six-year-old girl in wherever shopping centre, and the whole country goes into mass hysteria. And believe it, and the all star free sharing it. Just it's stupid the way it can ruin someone's life in seconds. Yes, and and, and, and like I said, this this guy, this foreign guy, accused of being in a an Albanian child abduction gang. Now, obviously, the thoughts of an Albanian child abduction gang operating in Dublin is very scary. It's and we yeah. Uh, yeah, and we'd all like to do everything in our power to prevent that happening. Um, but you need evidence. Yes, that's the, that's the point. Um, and there's posts popping up right, left, and center. Uh, white van. It's always a white van for some reason. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Matthew and his white van, isn't that right, Matthew? Yeah. Hanging around outside schools. Yeah, it just yeah. so happens it's his child's school, but you're. It's probably only a matter of time, Matthew, before somebody puts a post: white van spotted outside school three days in a row. Yeah. No, look at he, as you said, uh, the, uh, the many of the parents uh, know you at this stage. But isn't that the point, Davey, that that's how ridiculous things have gotten? Yeah, you nearly have to make yourselves known. You'd have to say, look, I have a van, it's going to be me pulling up and, you know, let everyone be aware. But there's posts popping up on Facebook, I see, from 2014. You know, a, a certain car or a van seen in a certain estate in a certain town 
beware. And you're like, gee, and I read that somewhere before. And then you look at the comments and they're from 2015. You know, they're two or three years old, some yeah. of them. And people yeah, are yeah. reposting them the I'm whole reposting time. them, yeah, because they, spo- they just happened to spot it, yeah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And so do you believe that it should be uh, brought into law that it become illegal to do something like this? Absolutely, to post, yes. To post um, unproven allegations against an individual. Yeah, as, as some, the other caller said, it's defamation of character, it's slander, and, you know, if if, if it's, it really, really gets to someone, they could, you know, do away with themselves. It, it could have of that course, much uh, of, a, of, a, of a, an effect. Absolutely. You you can imagine, and like I said, that lady's interview from that we played from last year, her husband was afraid to go outside his own front door for fear of yeah. being attacked by people yeah. for something that he didn't even do. Yeah, and even if you are proven innocent, there's still that. Yes, did yeah, he do mud, it? Mud, mud sticks. Yeah. Yeah, you still you still never walk down the street the same way. You know, you will never have the confidence. You, you go in for a pint, you think everyone's looking at you. Do you know what I mean? No matter where you go, you think someone is looking at you, going, "Just that's your man." I wonder, did he do it? It's gas, actually, when uh, having this conversation, Davey, um, and I was explaining over 600 people posted that post or re- shared that post that we were referring to earlier on. Not one of them has come on air to admit it because they probably all realise how wrong and how dangerous this actually is. And if anything, I hope this conversation will make you think twice before you click share on a post like this on a post that has no proof, no evidence, bar the hearsay of the person who took the photograph in the first place. One last call is Cathy. You're on 98FM. How are you, Cathy? Hi, Adrian. Thanks for the call. Cathy, your point is that people are, what, naive? I, I just think people, like that girl came on and said, well, this post has been shared like 600 times or whatever it was. Yeah. Um, and to me, it sounds like she was saying, well, it's been shared 600 times, so therefore it must be true. And and that's, and, that's and, and sorry, Cathy, that would be a fairly standard mentality. It, it's absolutely ridiculous to say, oh, well, look at this. Everybody's clicking on it. Everyone is sharing. So therefore, it's true. And, you know, oh, oh, and why should innocent people be afraid? Why in it would you not be afraid of walking out your door and being absolutely killed, have everything else done, your picture is put all over public, you have your neighbours looking at you differently, people are afraid to have the children. Why mm. in it would you not be afraid? Just because you're innocent, it doesn't mean you've nothing to be afraid of. Uh, you know, yeah, and I, I, I used to be I, one of those who would share the post as well, and I copped on from stories being so familiar and similar. And It only happened recently. I seen it on a friend's post. Mm. And within days, there was other posts coming in. But the story, different photographs from different people, but the stories were all the same. Yes, a and car uh, going yeah. around approaching kids yeah. in this area and another area, and it's you like see, come the, on. Uh, those posts are bad. But posts that have a photograph of somebody are uh, a thousand times uh, worse. Anyway, look, Kathy, thanks very much indeed for your call. And if this conversation does anything, all I want you to do, please, is think twice before you click on share. Uh, particularly when it has a photograph of somebody who hasn't been convicted of any crime at all. This is 98FM's Dublin Talks. This is a podcast of 98FM's Dublin Talks. Remember, catch the show live Monday to Friday at 10 a.m. 98FM's Dublin Talks with Adrian Kennedy. 98FM.